hello guys welcome back to my channel and today uh, in azure beginners to professional series i am going to talk about the virtual network connectivity or the vpn options uh, we have discussed this in the part 6 also for this series uh, you can check the description box link and the part 6 link is mentioned over there you can reach and view that from there uh, i also mentioned the previous and the next part links for this series and the entire playlist of this Azure Beginners to Professional. So you can watch the entire series of this Azure Beginners to Professional from that location. And okay, so let's what we have an Azure VPN connectivity options as uh, we have discussed in the part six. We have options uh, point to site and then site to site. We have express route options. So this is the diagram that shows how the connectivity is going. So when you have an on-premises structure and the network and you wanted to connect that, so there would be the two ways. The one is on-premises to exp through express route. We can connect it via VNet to VNet as well as an independent VNet or like an independent connectivity. From this diagram, you can easily understand how the connectivity is going between uh, sites or between um, site to sites and between the Microsoft data centers. So here you can see the VNet to VNet as something when you have a multiple data uh, Microsoft sites and you are connecting to that with each other. With the help of express route, your on-premises environment is get it connected with your Azure network. In the site to site connectivity, we can see that uh, you can create a tunnel between your on-premises to Azure network. And the third one is the point to site and point to site as I mentioned in part six also we can extend up to 128 connections but it is something when you are just deploying a client at your desktop or at your machine and from there you are going to connect to Azure. It is suitable only when you have a limited number of systems that used to connect but it, it has a individual connectivity from a specific uh, machine or from a laptop or from desktop could be possible not only the server required most of the organization always prefer the side to side connectivity options as it has a functionality uh, where you can take it uh, away like uh, one server or one vpn gateway from uh, your site is connecting to azure and then it's integrated uh, with all the connections that are coming from your on-premises uh, various systems or various end user computers or end user points because you you it's not restricting a 128 or something system limit so this is how the connectivity is going i will show you how we can configure the point to point or point side to side connectivity in the lab uh, part also let me quickly show you what all the options or how it's going to connect in Azure. Okay, so when you have to establish a point to site or P2S VPN connection, so these are the options. First, you have to create a virtual network and the virtual network gateway subnet. You need to configure root or the client cert root and uh, client certificate. You have to generate it, and once you upload that certificate, it could be from a CA also. It can be generated as an independent identity also. Uh, for each client, it's always recommended to generate an independent fresh certificate. So if you want to revoke the certificate, you can revoke it individually. If you want, you can also use the same certificate for uh, same client certificate on the multiple systems, but that is not a recommended approach. Uh, because whenever you are revoking a certificate, it will revoke all the clients. So for each client, it's always recommended to use an independent certificate. I will show you how we can uh, deploy that uh, certificate or how we can generate it. Then you have to create a VPN gateway and upload the certificate configuration. Next to that, you need to download the VPN client and distribute it to your uh, users. And once they deploy the certificate and configure the VPN configuration, they will able to connect it and they can able to reach your environment. I will show you how we can connect it and we can uh, reach and use VPN environment. Okay, 
and if you want to configure a point to site vpn with radius authentication that is also possible as it is the on premises server when where you will deploy it and then in that scenario your radius server will be connected to um, your azure network and your uh, your clients those are integrated with your radius uh, or uh, uh, your in infra on on premises infra they will be getting connected through this network only if you would like to configure site to site vpn then you have to uh, first configure a vnet and the gateway subnet you have need to add your local site configuration and uh, that site must have an or you must have a vpn device that have a public ip address like your public uh, your uh, on premises server must be published over an internet you can configure the same gateway in the cloud and associate your public ip address with the azure cloud so azure will allow uh, your uh, your vpn device and integrate the same with your on premises uh, vpn server I, can, I will show you that how we can configure it we can also configure vnet to vnet vpn that uh, these are the steps that you have to follow you need to first take a public ip address then create a gateway with the configuration once you create a first configuration then you can add your second virtual network and its gateway with the same vpn so both will be connected VP, uh, with the same vpn gateway we can configure the vnet pairing option also it's also almost the same way you first need to configure the vnet pairing uh, with the first virtual network and then you can associate it uh, matched gateway with the same uh, vnet let me quickly go back uh, to the main slide when we have started it okay so just wanted to show okay so from here you can see this is how the vnet is vnet to vnet is connected and the how vnet pairing is connected this is the express uh, route which we have discussed when we can create it if you can also refer module 6 or part 6 where i have uh, shown about this information and this is how the side to side vpn is connected you can also configure a radius authentication method or certificate based authentication certificate base is also configured here and we have an option we can apart from the certificate we can also use a directory based you know, user based authentication that based on azure ad so that also one of the option to configure uh, point to site connect uh, connectivity i will show you how we can configure a point to site connection how we can configure the site to site connection in the next video, I will continue and I will show you how we can configure point to site, then site to site connections, along with all the authentication method that is um, certificate based as well as the user authentication that is Azure user uh, Azure AD based authentication. So let's connect in the next video and we will continue it from here. You can see the next video link is already in the description box. So you can click on that and go to that location if you want to uh, see the my six part six of this link is also in the description box and the entire playlist is also there in uh, same description box so you can take it from there uh, link and watch keep watching this channel thank you so much